Taurus. Welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for December 20th through the 31st. Keep in mind that this is general. Not all the messages will match. And if you want something tailored specifically for you, the link for that is in the description box below. So let's see. Gender of the cards don't matter. Be sure to check out your other placements for additional messages. First card that we have, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. The Strength card. Six of Wands. Amazing energy. Five of Swords. Okay, I spoke too soon. The Hangman. Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. All right. From what I'm seeing, I'm going to split this up into Group A, Group E. Group A is going to be receiving good karma, having their wishes fulfilled, because they found the inner strength to do something that required a lot of courage, um, required, you know, standing up to a lot of people, just required standing up for themselves, showing self-care, self-love, self-admiration. This is going to bring them to victory. It's a long victory, you know, from what I'm seeing, you had to go through a lot of bullshit, nonsense, a lot of hurt, pain, sorrow to get to this point of success and recognition that you're going to be receiving because I feel I get the vibe that this hasn't happened yet you're in the process of doing it there's some sort of shift that's going to happen within five weeks so within January of 2020 in the middle of the month um there's going to be some sort of you know offer that comes in and this is going to prompt you to walk away from the things that no longer serve you it's going to prompt you to surrender something group b though is going to be hung up feeling stuck in some type of way feeling like there's this is like that martyr energy where you're trying to victimize yourself based off of your circumstances but what, what you need to realize is the fact that you have the power to get yourself out of this scenario where you're feeling stuck or where you feel like you don't have power i feel like someone here at least my tauruses that are on the vibe of you know not really having too much positive energy surrounding them. I get the vibe that someone here may have been giving to multiple people in secret. Some type of deception or trickery or lies was present here. Someone decided to keep their options open. Whether this is, you know, giving time, energy, and effort outside of the people that they should have loyalty to. And I feel like this may have a cost in the future. The cost is going to be feeling left out in the cold. Feeling like you've been taken for granted. Kind of being pushed out of the scenario. You're going to have to recover maybe even financially. And both of the Tauruses in this scenario are dealing with one person in particular. Whoever this person is, um, this person, they're very passionate, but they tend to have like that rushed energy where they don't really think things through before they do them. This is someone that has a lot of drive, a lot of, you know, intensity as well. But they tend to cause drama and start conflicts wherever it is that they go. I feel like this person may be the, the one that's going to leave you out in the cold for my Tauruses. Um, that, you know, have been exhibiting this behavior of trying to have their cake and eat it too. And my Tauruses in my group A, I get the vibe that you guys will be getting your wishes fulfilled, whether this is a person. I feel like it's specifically in matters of the heart where you're going to be getting something that you've been wanting. And this is something that's going to make you happy and you deserve it, especially after everything that you've been through, what people have put you through. And you deserve a moment of rest, a moment of peace. Um, serenity, especially a vacation. I get the vibe that some of my Tauruses here need some type of vacation. They need to be able to go and clear their mind, um, get to a serene place where they don't have to deal with the conflict and the anxiety that they've been having to deal with with the entire year of 2019. So let's get another deck. That way I can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. So for my group A's that are going to be getting their wishes fulfilled, I feel like both People here need to be focusing on themselves and their happiness, and not in a selfish way, but in a healthy manner. Focus on moving forward past any regrets, any hurts, anything that you know weighs you down on a day-to-day -day basis. These are things that you think of, um, that people have put you through. And from what I'm seeing, everything that's happened has been destined to happen. So there's nothing that you could have done to change this whole situation. So dwelling on the past does nothing but really cause more heartbreak and sorrow. If anything, we look at the past to glance and see how far we've come, but not to, you know, regret and dwell over the things that have happened. But it's hard to move on. I understand completely for the ones that are feeling stuck. It's hard to move on when you feel like someone has burned you or when you feel scorned. Because there was some type of breakup or shakeup in the foundation that was here. Someone decided to stand up for themselves, 
for their inner peace, for their livelihood, for their self-esteem. Because there was some type of breakup. Um, something sudden or unexpected happened that both of the people that were involved here didn't see coming. And this was something that caused an awakening or a shift between the relationship of anyone that was involved in this scenario. Whether this is work, um, whether it's you know in friendships, whether it's just with connections in general. You're trying to walk away to find your stability, to find your happiness, to find your union, to find your home. Most of you, I get the vibe, have been chasing this feeling of home because everywhere that you've been, I'm not going to be talking to everyone because not everyone has a toxic home environment from childhood, but the majority of the Tauruses that I'm talking to right now, I get the vibe that you're chasing this feeling of home. It's a sense of like belonging that you haven't really had. And that's what, that's what you're looking for. And I feel like you're going to feel that sense of companionship with someone who's going to come in. And as soon as I said someone, oh my God, the King of Swords comes out. The reason why he has his back turned is because this person hasn't entered your life yet. Why? Because you're still dealing with the residual energy of whoever this Knight of Swords is in your life. So depending on which dynamic you're in, part of my Taurus is this person has left you out in the cold because you were trying to keep their options open trying to have your cake and eat it too. Meanwhile, others, this person is in the process of leaving your life and you're just trying to get rid of that residual energy because of the fact that they took you for granted. They put you through some type of hurt, some type of transform transformation that was caused by pain. And you are making the ultimate decision to move on, to find your happiness, to find your union, to find your person. And your person is here. They just haven't entered your life yet, you know. Your paths haven't crossed, and I feel like someone here may have been put into a third-party situation. Whether you are male or female, someone here tried to have their cake and eat it too between two different people specifically, where they're investing in one person one minute and investing in another. And it's in the same card as the Six of Pentacles of this person in the middle trying to, you know, give their time, effort, and energy to someone. So there was a lot of deception and lies and trickery that were here, which is why I feel some of my Tauruses are having a hard time moving forward because getting rid of this type of deceit, it's going to take time. Anybody that has been deceived to this level, they're not just going to engage with people when they come into their life. You know, it's going to take some time for you to trust people again. And with the Queen of Wands, someone here is feeling stuck or hung up because they're unable to move forward because of the fact that there was a lack of action that was taken in the past and everything here is coming full circle. So whoever was the person in the past that wasn't taking the initiative, I feel like now the roles have reversed and someone's leaving while someone else is trying to fight for the relationship. You have to go through some type of healing period. You have to go through some type of like renewal. Um, the phoenix rising from the dead type of energy because... Everything that you've gone through, it's shifted your heart. It's shifted the way that you view love. And you have to try to keep your heart as pure as you've had it, despite everything that you've been through, because that's what makes you you. That's what separates you from everyone from everyone else. It's your heart. So just protect yourself. Put a permanent ending to things that need to be, you know, ended for good. Especially some of you, I feel, are some Tauruses are dealing with this ex for the sake of just you know sexual purposes or intimacy or not wanting to move on to someone else so you're deciding to sleep with this person because it's familiar don't do that i feel like that is i mean you can do whatever you want it's your life but from what i'm seeing it's kind of making you regress when it comes to moving forward because just as soon as you're about to move on and you decide to, you decide to be intimate with this person that link is then created once again um, and you're kind of just like in this energetic loop. So there has to be a permanent ending to communication and investments. Initially, it's going to hurt you. Initially, you're going to be confused. Initially, you're going to be feeling like, what have I done? You know, why would I make this decision? But overall, it's going to work out for the best because you're going to be manifesting healing. Um, I feel like that's for both of my Tauruses in this equation. Um, just be sure to make the right decision, not to play any mind games or trick anybody or deceive anybody because that's just you racking up your karma. But for the most part, I do see that my Tauruses have good things coming for them, at least for the ones that have been exhibiting, you know, not trying to hurt anybody out of spite. 
So be careful with revenge as well. I don't know why I would even say that. But someone here is feeling very vengeful. And they're feeling scorned. It's out of pain and protecting their heart. It's not because that's really who they are. So just be aware of that. Keep your heart as pure as it's been, despite whatever pain and heartbreak people have put you through. So let's get you some best advice moving forward. Alright. So best advice moving forward. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Don't communicate. If it's with this person from the past or this person that has been giving you a hard time, there has to be a stop to communication because that just creates that emotional link, that emotional bind. This is going to cause you stress. Initially, like I said, it's going to affect your stability. You're going to be feeling like you're going through a tower moment, something that you weren't really prepared for. But I feel like in the, in the long run, it's going to be beneficial to you. This person that you're dealing with, they have a lot of inner work to do. They've been hurt a lot throughout their life. And the reason why they were so aggressive, the reason why they treated you the way that they did is because it was only a reflection of what they, what has been done to them. From what I'm seeing, they didn't really know any better. And if they did, it was their role for them to put you through whatever the lesson was that you went through. Despite the fact that it caused a lot of chaos and destruction overall, it's what's going to push you to your brand new beginning, which is what you want. You want something that you're going to be passionate about, something that you, you have drive for. And I feel like all along your intuition told you that something was up or something wasn't right when it came to this whole scenario. You decided to wait it out maybe to see exactly what that was. Maybe you needed physical proof. But overall, when it came to the stability of the connection, there was a lack of teamwork. Despite the fact that you were putting in all the effort, energy, you know, trying to be as loving as you possibly could. Someone wasn't receptive to what you were trying to provide for them. And this was the cause of the lack of the new beginning of the relationship um this could even be a job situation when it comes to work you know two people conspiring against you and putting an ending to some type of contract but overall you're going to get the victory that you're seeking if you want to have that victory though you have to wrap up this cycle some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign leo scorpio aquarius taurus but this cycle is on the verge of ending and you have to kind of close it out if you don't you're going to have a lack of victory um in the situation, meaning that you're just going to repeat this whole cycle over and over again. And this time it's going to cost you an even bigger piece of yourself because some of you lost yourself dealing with this person because they made you question your worth, but you are worthy. Um, you just have to know and believe that and know that better things are coming for you. And with the star split in between the deck, just have hope and patience. Good things are coming for you in 2020. Um, just let go of any baggage and sorrow that you might be carrying. And that's the end of your reading. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your month. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Bye.